realistically, what you want out of your backup quarterback is you're not asking him to make dynamite throws or like, you know, once in a lifetime throws or anything like that. So you're asking him to run the offense. So if he can get rid of the ball quickly and continue the offense for one or two drives out of every three, then yeah, that's what you want. Um, Tyler Tyson Badgett is number one record holder in D2 and uh, for passing touchdowns, passing yards. The guy has experience. He's not young. He's 22, 23 years old. He's not like a baby. He's not coming in like a deer, slipping on ice, like not knowing how to do a rhythm throw. And that's what I liked about him in the first game. Second game, I texted Paulie after the first game. I said, this kid has got rhythm. He has rhythm timing. He has rhythm throws. Um, whenever you see a screen, a uh, slant, he's hitting a guy in a pocket where he likes to catch it and then keep going and run. So I like the kid um, and to debate whether it's Nathan Peterman or PJ Walker, like PJ Walker has demonstrated one thing to me in like the first two preseason games is he's trying to keep his career alive and he's tossing 60 yard bombs at least once per game to prove that he can still toss 60 yard bombs. And personally, if Justin Fields goes down, my season's wrapped up. I'm tossing it in the you gotta air. You got to knock I'm... on some wood. You can't say that without exactly. knocking on I got plenty of wood around me. I'll knock on all of it. It's fine. Like, That's drywall. But... Hit the wood. Hit the wood but part. Field is out. The field is out. I'm wrapping up the season anyway. But if you want, like you said, a developmental quarterback, then, yeah, I want him in for six games versus P.J. Walker. I gain nothing. I gain absolutely nothing in my life watching P.J. Walker for six games tossing 60-yard bombs to Equinemius St. Brown. Nothing. <laughs> So if I see Tyson Badgen hitting rhythm throws and going 12 for 15 for 200 yards, I, there's a quarterback controversy in there somewhere or whatever, or you can move on from fields, blah, blah, blah. But I gain nothing from Nathan Peterman and P.J. Walker. I'd rather see Tyson Badgen as a QB2 hitting rhythm throws. Give me a 23-year-old. He's 6'3", 215. He's not a baby. He ran, a, he ran the fastest – he ran the fastest three cone drill of any quarterback or the second fastest three cone of any quarterback in the in the combine this year. He went to the senior bowl and had like probably the best quarterback situation of anybody at the senior bowl. And that's comparing him to D1 guys that are even a D1 guy at a fifth best school is still arguably better than a D2 guy who has set every record. This is a guy who is a big fish in a small pond. Yes, he stayed nearby because he's from West Virginia. And that's what he wanted to do. And you got him for free. He's an undrafted free agent. Take him. Like, ride it out. You have nothing to lose.